There were two of us working with um, Hollenbeck as sort of, not co-editors, but the reporters uh, preparing material, Eddie Scott and I, and you'll find that same team later on going over to television with Murrow. Um, one of our stories was a the, uh, theft of um, Atomic Secrets, uh, either in Oak Ridge or someplace, uh, where there were no theft, no theft at all. Uh, there were, it was a premature stab in 47, 48 at thievery. Later on, there would be thievery of secrets. And uh, if the son had waited a while, they might have had the story right. But in this particular story, it was a, it was a fake. And uh, the son demanded equal time. Now, we were on for 15 minutes, minus uh, promos at 14.30. And Murrow was uh, in favor of equal time. Anybody had a real gripe, they had a right to answer. And he was going to give them the 14 minutes and 30 seconds. And Hollenbeck went up to see Murrow and said, you can't, I mean, it's not right to give them the whole program. Uh, and uh, Don Hollenbeck came back very dejected, hangdog. And I said, what happened? He said, Ed won't go for he wants them to have the full broadcast. I said, can I go up and see him? He said, yeah. I didn't know Murrow. And um, so I went up and uh, uh, as was my wont, I laced into not him, but the idea of giving out a program over to a response. I said, if the New York Times had written an article and uh, somebody objected to it, you're going to give them the whole newspaper to uh, run your answer in? No, you give them the letters to the editor. I mean, this is like Goebbels. Well, that affronted Murrow, you know, and uh, he, uh, and so to switch the subject, I said, what are you going to do for my friends Johnny Air and Jesse Zosmer? He said, at that, he had me. He said, I'll take care of them. And, uh, well, we got a half a minute or less to reply to the publisher of the New York Sun who was being invited to come on and tell us why he didn't like the story we did. And he came on, a nice old man, by the name of Friendly, incidentally. And uh, he finished his 14 minutes, and then Don Hollenbeck, who had had his speech in advance, came on in 30 seconds and devastated him all over again. And uh, he got up, Mr. Friendly did, and he said, I'm going to have to find out who led me into this thing. He was really, you know, teed off.